In this video, we're going to learn two different approaches for creating game objects in Unity. One by using the Unity graphical interface, and one by using code in a script. We'll begin by using the Unity graphical interface. Let's create a simple cube in this scene by right-clicking in the hierarchy window, looking within 3D objects, and selecting Cube. This is a game object with different components that renders a cube and gives it a collider for physics simulations. We can also do this by clicking Create in the top left and again navigating through 3D objects and selecting Cube. To create more, we could also right click and select Duplicate. You could also use the keyboard shortcut to duplicate by pressing Ctrl and D on Windows or Command and D on Mac OS. The point we're making here is that there's more than one way to get what you need in Unity. Let's spread these cubes out by modifying their transforms so that they're not overlapping. If we click play to test our application, we can see it's working as intended. We have our four cubes doing nothing. Let's stop the application and move these cubes out the way by dragging a box around them in the scene view window and dragging the green arrow upwards. This modifies the transforms of all selected game objects. Now let's create the same four cubes, but this time by writing code to a script. To run a script in Unity, it needs to be a component of a game object in a scene. So let's right click in the hierarchy window and select Create Empty. This creates a game object in the scene with nothing but a transform component, and you can see in the scene window that nothing is visible. Let's add our script to this empty game object whilst it's selected by clicking Add Component in the Inspector window. Let's type a desired name for our script, click New Script, and then click Create and Add. This script has now been created as an asset in our project and added as a component to our empty game object. We can now edit this by double-clicking the script either in the Project window or in the Inspector window. This will launch whichever code editor you have set in Unity. It doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you can edit the code. By default, Unity creates every script with the start and update method. This has to do with the Unity execution lifecycle, which will be covered in another video. For now, let's add our code to the start method, which in our case will be executed once the application runs. To create our cube, we type gameobject.createPrimitive and pass in primitive-type.cube. Save the script and click Run to see that we now have a fifth cube which has been created by our script. If we copy and paste this code to create a second cube and click Run, we can see another cube has been created, but it's overlapping the last one because it's in the same position. So we need to change the position of the second cube. To do this, we assign the game object to a variable so we can modify its properties after it's been created. We'll call them cube1 and cube2, and then modify the transform of cube2 by typing cube2.transform.position and assigning a new vector 3 with our desired x, y, and z coordinates. If we hit the run button again, we can see our cube is now alongside the first one. Let's copy and paste this code to create cube 3 and cube 4, this time with different coordinates. Let's click Run again to see our four cubes. That's it for creating game objects.